The Secret Garden Once upon a time in a quiet village, there lived a little girl named Lily. Lily was an ordinary girl with an extraordinary imagination. She loved to explore and discover new things. But there was one place she had heard about in hushed whispers from the villagers, the secret garden. The secret garden was a mysterious place that no one seemed to know much about. It was said to be hidden deep in the heart of the village, behind a large, overgrown hedge. The garden had been locked and abandoned for many years, and the key to its gate was missing. Many villagers believed it was just a story, a fairy tale passed down through generations. But Lily had a feeling that the secret garden was real. One sunny morning, when the sky was as blue as the forget-me-not flowers that lined the village streets, Lily decided to set out on a quest to find the secret garden. She wore her favorite pink dress, tied her hair in two pigtails, and carried a small, tattered map she had found in her grandfather's old chest. Lily began her journey by following the winding cobblestone streets of the village. The map she held in her hand was old and faded, but it had a big X of marking a spot that seemed to be the entrance to the secret garden. Lily skipped along the path, her heart filled with excitement. As she walked, Lily greeted the villagers, who were busy tending to their gardens and animals. She stopped to chat with old Mr. Johnson, who was always sitting on his porch, smoking his pipe. Hello, Mr. Johnson, Lily greeted him with a bright smile. Hello, my dear. Where are you off to today? he asked, blowing out a puff of smoke. I'm going to find the secret garden. Lily said with enthusiasm. Old Mr. Johnson chuckled. Ah, oh, the secret garden. Many have tried, but no one has ever found it. Are you sure it's not just a tale? Lily nodded. I have this map, and it has an X that marks the spot. I believe it's real, and I'm going to find it. With a pat on the head, old Mr. Johnson wished Lily good luck on her adventure. Lily continued down the cobblestone path, feeling more determined than ever. Finally, she reached the large overgrown hedge that was marked on her map. It was so dense and tangled that it seemed almost impenetrable. Lily tried pushing her way through, but the thorn scratched her arms and legs, making her yelp in pain. It was a real challenge. But Lily was not one to give up easily. She remembered her grandfather's words, persistence and a little creativity can help you overcome any obstacle. She glanced around and noticed a rusted key hanging on a low branch of a nearby tree. With a triumphant grin, she grabbed the key and tried it in the lock on the garden gate. To her amazement, it fit perfectly, and with a creak, the gate swung open. The secret garden was no longer a secret to her. Stepping inside, Lily was greeted by a world of enchantment. The garden was a burst of color and life. Flowers of every shape and hue bloomed in abundance, and the air was filled with the sweet scent of blossoms. The trees were tall and majestic, their branches forming a natural canopy overhead. Birds sang melodious tunes, and butterflies flitted about. But as she wandered deeper into the garden, she noticed that some parts of it were overgrown and neglected, as if they had been untouched for years. She decided to make it her mission to restore the entire secret garden to its former glory. With her determination and the help of her trusty map, Lily worked tirelessly over the next few weeks. She pruned the overgrown bushes, weeded the flower beds, and cleared away debris. The more time she spent in the garden, the more she fell in love with it. The secret garden was becoming her special place. One day, as she was trimming a particularly unruly rosebush, she heard a soft voice behind her. Hello there. Startled, Lily turned around to find a boy about her age standing there. He had a friendly face and twinkling eyes. He introduced himself as Max. I live in the house just beyond the hedge. I've heard you've been working on the garden, Max said, smiling. Lily nodded. Yes, I found the key to the gate, and I've been trying to make this place beautiful again. 
It's my secret garden now. Max's eyes lit up with excitement. I've always wondered about this garden, but I could never get in. It's amazing that you did. Can I help? Lily agreed, and together, they continued to tend to the secret garden. They became fast friends, sharing stories and laughter as they worked. Max had a great knowledge of plants and flowers, and Lily learned a lot from him. They planted new flowers, built a little birdhouse, and even created a fairy garden with tiny figurines. As days turned into weeks, word of the magical garden spread throughout the village. More and more villagers came to see the garden's transformation. They were amazed by the beauty Lily and Max had created. Some brought seeds, tools, and gardening tips to help them. The secret garden had become a place of joy and community, bringing the villagers together in a way they had never experienced before. It was no longer a secret, it was a place where people could relax, share stories, and enjoy the wonders of nature. One day, as the garden continued to thrive and bloom, a surprise visitor arrived. It was Lily's grandfather, who had heard about the garden's reawakening. He was touched by what his granddaughter had accomplished. Lily, you've turned the secret garden into something truly magical, he said with pride. Lily beamed with happiness. I wanted to make it beautiful again, just like you always told me, Grandpa. Her grandfather knelt down and gave her a hug. You've not only made the garden beautiful, but you've also brought the village together. It's a place where everyone can find happiness and peace. I'm so proud of you. As the days turned into months and the seasons changed, the secret garden continued to flourish. It became a place of happiness, a sanctuary for all who visited. And in the heart of it all were Lily and Max, two young friends who had unlocked the garden's secrets and transformed it into a place of wonder and friendship. The secret garden was no longer a hidden treasure. It was a place where dreams came to life, where laughter echoed through the air, and where the beauty of nature and the magic of friendship intertwined to create a tale that would be told for generations to come.